vegan, cause the same mouth cannot preach compassion while chewing the innocent's flesh. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. How is the entertainment industry of film, TV and music adapting to today's ever-changing world and meeting new challenges such as COVID-19 and climate change? Transforming Entertainment for a Changing World, part one of two. Continue watching to find out more. In the Republic of Sierra Leone, people thank God by saying, Atel God Thank Ye, in Creole, a language that's widely spoken in the country. I'm Nathaniel. The noble citizens of Sierra Leone admire you for always thinking of Allah and wish you safe passage through your life on earth and in the hereafter. May angels always surround you. Welcome to our show, Transforming Entertainment for a Changing World, Part 1 of 2. The COVID-19 pandemic has greatly affected lives and businesses around the world, creating unprecedented transformations for all and major upheavals in the global entertainment industry. Countless theaters, cinemas, concert halls, and studios are shuttered and even outdoor festivals have been either canceled or postponed because of the pandemic. Television and film production has also been delayed or called off resulting in major layoffs and equipment being left idle. Film releases have been rescheduled or put on hold indefinitely. Thus, the pandemic has produced an extremely challenging time for the worldwide entertainment sector. However, some positive effects have also emerged. For example, due to the many stuck-at-home consumers, the volume of online streaming has greatly increased. There's been a greater demand for video gaming and the consumption of TV and online news has grown. Social media usage has also seen a tremendous jump as more traditional shops and service providers are moving forward to engage their buyers directly. In addition, climate change has awakened people and businesses to re-examine their consumption habits and processes so as to substantially reduce their carbon footprint and also implement global warming mitigation measures. The worldwide changes in the media, in patterns of content consumption and in lifestyles arising from the pandemic and climate change are perhaps irreversible. So how are entertainment media such as movies, TV, and music changing and adapting in order to deal with the COVID-19 environment and climate change? On today's program, we'll present some of the changes occurring in the entertainment industry due to COVID-19 and climate change to adapt to and overcome these crises. The pandemic is changing the way the film business operates. For decades, movie theaters dictated that a studio's newest blockbuster could only be launched as home entertainment after 90 days of screening in cinemas. The conventional thinking of filmmakers was that the public is generally reluctant to pay to see the latest movie in theaters if they just need to wait a few weeks to be able to watch it on demand in the comfort of their homes. With recent advances in technology and the rise of streaming services, people now have easy access to numerous shows with the click of a button and are able to enjoy their favorite movies or series on mobile devices. The pandemic has caused theaters to shut down for months without revenue. And when they're able to open again, the patronage level is well below what it was during pre-pandemic times. The exhibitor's bargaining power is being diminished by the change in consumer patterns and preferences brought about by the crisis. Releases of new titles are now made available online much sooner than in the past, and some are even offered concurrently on the big screen and through on-demand streaming. 
Examples of titles that are being released to theaters and through online streaming simultaneously or only on demand include the Chinese blockbuster Lost in Russia, a 2020 comedy film. This film's theatrical release was canceled and it was made available through streaming platforms free of charge so as to encourage people to stay at home. Similarly, Warner Brothers Scoob, a 2020 computer animated mystery comedy film based on Hanna-Barbera's Scooby-Doo franchise, was not released to theaters in North America, but went directly to on-demand video. Trolls World Tour, a 2020 U.S. computer animated musical comedy by Universal Pictures, was released directly to virtual cinema or video on demand rental with concurrent limited theatrical screenings in the US via drive in cinemas. A different type of music. Hamilton, the 2020 US historical fiction musical film featuring the 2015 Broadway production of the same name, which was originally scheduled to be released in October 2021, was instead streamed globally on Disney Plus in July 2020 becoming one of the most streamed films of the year. Hamilton was named the best film of 2020 by the American Film Institute and was nominated for and won various other awards. Just you wait, just you wait. Kind-hearted viewers, we'll now pause to hear a brief message. We'll return shortly. Please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. You cannot be against violence and eat and exploit sentient beings. The Honorable Dr. Sylvia Spurek, PhD, vegan. Welcome back to our show. COVID-19 is also changing the way filmmakers and producers create content by using new technology to overcome lockdowns, restricted travel, and social distancing. With limited numbers of crew members and access to only certain locations for filming, the adoption of new virtual production technology is greatly accelerating. The application of such technology is not new, as it was used in The Mandalorian, a spin-off television series from Star Wars. So, what exactly is virtual production? Virtual production involves the use of in-camera LED walls to create surreal aesthetic effects through imagery technology interfacing with video games and movies. Basically, it's the technique of making real-time rendered virtual scenes around actors using real-time game engines such as Unity and Unreal Engine, which enable the real-time generation of graphics and visual effects with an LED wall that surrounds real physical props and actors. For decades, green and blue screens were used in film and TV production to place actors into different or imaginary environments on set. The LED wall, which is said to be the successor of the green screen, is now revolutionizing the film recording process by creating 3D environments using intricate pre-production made backgrounds. This approach creates the illusion of being in a physical location where the actors can interact with the surroundings and act even more realistically. Scenes can also be changed with the click of a button. The Lion King remake is another example of a film where virtual production was employed. The movie was made using a completely virtual set with no physical props or actors, in which creative production personnel such as directors are able to see various photorealistic computer animated images on screens around them. The London-based film studio Garden Studios is at the forefront of applying this new technology. Partnering with Met Film School, Garden Studios offered a crash course on virtual production in July 2021 for professionals in the film industry. And responses from participants have been positive. Yem, a future film director, said, I want to implement virtual production in my future projects. It looks like the future of the industry. Knowing the technology, which is still in R&D, it's a good way to adapt and be flexible with the changing nature of filmmaking. It's a big conversation to have for young filmmakers, and I'm really excited about the future for virtual production. Linda, a future producer, said, 
For me, virtual production is definitely going to be booming, so I wanted to be on the forefront of learning this amazing new technology. The COVID-19 pandemic has also been a catalyst for change and has accelerated the teaching of virtual production in media schools. Professor Gail Katz of the School of Cinematic Arts, the University of Southern California, is one of Hollywood's biggest movie producers. She created a step-by-step -step tutorial video called Making the Virtual Production, an SCA faculty demonstration to assist student filmmakers in making movies and TV shows remotely by using the virtual meeting platform Zoom. Through this approach, isolated actors can be directed and facilitated in performing a variety of non-acting tasks such as setting up virtual communications, doing camera, lighting, and audio work, and even executing production design and wardrobe and uploading footage. Thus, in distance filmmaking, actors take on much more diverse technical roles besides acting, compared to the traditional way of filming. The streaming of live sporting events is also adapting to the changes caused by COVID-19. Producers are bringing the games to viewers through the use of 5G SIM cards and the cloud. The UK TV sports service, Sky Sports, reports that since the outbreak of the pandemic, they have aired more live netball games than ever before. The new way of recording and producing films caused by the pandemic has resulted in certain positive effects, such as optimum use of resources, improved productivity, more economical systems, and reduced carbon footprints. The new normal is expected to stay permanently for the TV and film industry. Gracious viewers, it's been a pleasure to have you with us today during Transforming Entertainment for a Changing World, Part 1 of 2. Please return next Thursday, October 21st, for Part 2. Coming up next is Quincy Davis, a compassionate vegan athlete and restaurant owner, Part 2 of 2, right after Noteworthy News. May you be endowed with the greatest spiritual fortune. Don't choose vegan, join the satanic cult. The devils will be happy to grill you. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash AJAR. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule et suprememastertv.com bar oblique AJAR. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule y suprememastertv.com barra inclinada a j a r Τα προγράμματα μας προσφέρονται σε πολλές γλώσσες. Παρακαλούμε δείτε supermastertv.com κάθετος schedule και supermastertv.com κάθετος h e a r 